All right, guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is a really incredible gaming headset. I'm going to say it right off the bat so you know that you're getting into a positive review, unlike the last one I did. But every now and then, you come across a product that honestly is really hard to find something good to say about it. Today we are going to be talking about Triton's brand new ARC 100 Chameleon headset. Now this is for the PS4, but it also works uh, for mobile devices and PC and all that good stuff. Um, and what makes these special is first off, I'm a fan of lighting. If you can't tell, like the controller lights up, there's Tetris lights over there. Anything that lights up for some reason just like grabs my attention. So as you can tell with these, and I don't we're gonna have to show video because I don't think in the light you'll be able to see these things changing colors, uh, but you can have it like pulsate different colors. You can even have a mode where you lay it like this and anytime it moves to a different level, it'll sit there and change colors. So there's tons of different ways that you can make this work. Now, what's important to know right off the bat, these headphones retail for $80. So for a Triton headset, if you're familiar with those, usually they're lower priced and they compete with headphones or headsets that are usually you know twice as much so for these to be eighty dollars which is pretty um high for a triton headset you know they had to put a lot of effort and pack a lot of different features into this one headset now to start with build quality these things are huge uh they are plastic and to me feel a little bit fragile uh, but anything plastic is going to feel fragile i haven't had any plastic that just feels like it would be indestructible so that may be a concern for some and then it may not be a big deal for others now the padding that's on them on the top it's a very uh you know th this is kind of the same thing that's on the ear pad and yes it's like that fake leather material but this one's kind of stiff and I think over time it will soften up uh, so I did notice that it doesn't have that when you put it on your head it just kind of oozes in it still had a stiff um, feel to it now again I think over time you'll be okay now the headband as you can see it's a solid piece of plastic so it doesn't adjust this way or anything like that so you're probably wondering well what if i have a small head or a large head how do i get the ear cups to actually fit now the way that they did these is pretty cool um you take it and it just you can hear it it slides within itself everything's built into here now the microphone that's on it uh, is a mic that just pulls out like this and pushes up like this it's not one that you can remove but honestly when it's pushed up you can't even tell that there's a microphone at all on these headsets speaking of microphone let's go ahead and do the mic test right now all right guys so here is a test of the triton arc 100 headset um, I honestly think right off the bat, this is going to be noticeably different uh, than the last headset that I reviewed um, because Triton does a very good job at, you know, really paying attention to the detail in their headset. And they know that microphones are extremely important in gaming. And as you can tell, overall, this headset has a very uh, pretty clear sound. Uh, so for a headset, this is a really good microphone. Okay, now on to the buttons. Uh, these do come with AAA batteries because there is some power uh, that's required to run these. Now you can use them if the battery runs out, so it's not necessarily required, but to be able to utilize the features, you kind of need batteries. On the left and right, that's the other thing. Uh, it's all marked on the inside. It's very light, so it's kind of hard to know, but you can know that the headphone cable is not detachable and it's always on your left side. The headphone cable is not extremely long, so if you plan on using it for PC, you're probably going to need an extension cable on the right side is where you have your power button your equalizer button there are three modes built in and the three modes that you have on the equalizer you have an optimal setting which is best for gaming uh, kind of gives you more of a flat response and picks up different sounds uh, individually so it's good for first person shooters you have bass boost which that kind of explains itself and then treble boost which again kind of explains itself uh, all three features work pretty well and you can definitely tell when you switch from one to the other uh, above that you have your volume up and down which is really nice because everything's right there to be able to control now on the other side you have your mic uh, mute button on the top you have different lighting modes now there's several different lighting modes and I didn't even get into all of them uh, but there's ones where you can this side you can change the color that you want uh, but then on the other side, you can change the different modes. Now, there's a mode that'll breathe different colors. There's some that'll just stay a certain color or just flash a color. There's even a mode that if you lay it this way, 
it'll be one color and every time you kind of move it up it'll continue to change colors uh, which is kind of cool so you know if you have them on and you're moving around they'll be changing the whole time and if you're head banging it'll you know be like a strobe light of colors um, but as you can tell these things are pretty big uh, and with the build quality again that might be the only concern with these now we get into sound and sound there's nothing to be concerned about with these these things sounded absolutely amazing with games in the optimal mode uh you were able to hear every little thing and it sounded so uh like you were just placed right in the environment that you're playing so you're able to pick up things real easily it sounded so rich uh, it's got a, an overall warm sound to it which is what i prefer uh now bass mode and treble mode or boost uh sound really good with music now i preferred the bass boost mode nothing became overpowering uh, I felt like these headphones were able to handle anything that I threw at them. Uh, music sounded great. Now, I don't know that this would be like your number one choice for a portable heads headphone uh, to be able to take out and about because, again, they're kind of big. But overall, build quality, there's nothing to worry about. Sound-wise, uh, if, if you like an open sound stage these can do that if you like to listen to heavy music, it can handle that. Rap, hip-hop, anything, pop, no matter what you do. No matter what you want these for, these really, and they're called the chameleon, and I know that sounds kind of stupid, but it's true. These are a chameleon. They will kind of morph to whatever, uh, you know, whatever use you're wanting them for. Gaming these things, uh, I highly recommend them. And, it, and for the headsets under $100, um, again, my choice is still the HyperX Cloud uh, series, but these come very close, and you get a lot of added features uh, and lighting and stuff that you don't get with the HyperX. So if you're a fan of having um, different controls and different features, you might want to go with these. So overall, for under $80, I highly recommend the Triton Arc 100. This is listed as PS4 and mobile devices, but again, you can use it for other uh, you, for the PC as well. I'm not sure on the Xbox One because they do have their own set. Uh, these just came out. In fact, I think in some places they're not even out yet. I hope that this review helped you guys out. Thank you for checking out all the other videos. Thank you for checking out this video. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.